Well, I just completed my honors degree in geophysics at Wits University. And last year I had the opportunity to participate in the Next Generation Explorers Award competition. And this took place at the um, SAGA conference, the South African Geophysical Association conference, yes. Um, so in this competition, we were provided with a data set whereby um, a groups and teams of diverse geoscience students had to um, take this data set and just um, use in innovative techniques to, you know, transform the data sets and come up with some enticing presentations. So um, we were introduced to this, um, to this competition by uh, Professor Susan Webb um, from the WITS uh, Geophysics uh, Department. And um, she, she then uh, presented me with this opportunity to be uh, sponsored by Bell Geospace to be here. Uh, although my team didn't win, we put in a great effort and I also was greatly involved in the facilitating communications between um, the NGEA people as well as the teams, also making sure the teams were on track and meeting regularly. Um, huge congratulations to the winning team. They are actually on their way to Canada very soon to participate with the other finalists uh, from around the world. Well, first of all, industry nowadays are looking for, they, the jobs are skill-based. It's not about just about your education. They're really looking for candidates that have that broader insight, um, who understand risk, understand benefits. So the candidates need to really know where do they fit into the whole value chain. You know, it's not just about my master's, I have all of this knowledge. Um, so bit of pressure on the educators because educators now need to encourage that lateral thinking. They have to encourage students to collaborate, various disciplines. Um, you know, it's not just about geophysics, it's about geophysics, geology, it's about the environment, it's about social impact. So um, the initiatives like the NGA has given students that opportunity you know to to work in that collaborative manner they've been exposed to industry um yes so it, it's re it's really great to to give them that opportunity to 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 be innovative So we didn't work with any uh, geo, uh, Bell Geospace data. Um, uh, it would be nice, however, to include it in the near future. Um, NGEA provided us some data from the Council of Geoscience from an area called Springbok in the Northern Cape. Um, this data included uh, magnetics, it included um, geology, geochemistry, as well as radiometrics. Um, with regards to my studies, I focused more on uh, Mag magnetics for my research project, but we also attended um, the Africa Array Field School, which is a really good initiative. Um, it doesn't only involve the VIT students, other students from other parts of Africa and America are, um, do participate in it as well, where we go and do uh, field work, hands-on field work, geophysics, all the geophysical methods, seismics, magnetics, gravity, electromagnetics, and so on. <laughs> It really is a phenomenal opportunity to be, to take part in things like the NGEA as well as this type of sponsorship by um, Bell Geospace to be here. I mean, I think as, as, a, as a student and more so as a person who's in the beginning stages of their career, um, what we need mostly is exposure. So being able to engage with industry professionals, being able to capture and to just be able to visualize what it is we're signing ourselves up for, what it is we're trying to do with our lives, which parts we're trying to take. So I believe um, also with the NGEA, collaborative efforts like this, working with teams, merging skill sets, um, is really, really a great initiative. And in the same breath, I'd like to extend a huge thanks to Ria Tinian, as well as Bell Geospace for actually sponsoring me to be here. Yeah, thank you.
NGA has a website. It's actually tied to the BDAC, which is another big international upcoming conference. So if they search for NGA, they'll find it. They'll find about the program, the mentorship, and so forth. And then there's also a pretty good uh, following on LinkedIn. So there's a group on LinkedIn. So anybody who's interested can go to those two um, places to find more information.